okay this is the final video what we have is we have OSPF running on these four routers but we need to completely control who's going to be the DR and the BDR and let's say we want R0 to be the DR because it's the most robust router and then the second most robust router is R3 so we want R3 to be the BDR well let's set router priority numbers and see and use that as the another way of influencing the election process so I'll go to R0 and I'm gonna have to put in the password Cisco and then the enable command and the password class and then I'm gonna do a conf T to get to global config mode interface FA 0 slash 0 okay and then now I'm going to do a question mark right and I'm going to do an I think it is an IP question mark and that's going to be OSPF question mark priority router priority okay so IP OSPF question mark so we're gonna say priority whoops and then another question mark all right and then it's a number from 0 to 255 now if we want to make the router have no chance of being the DR we'd set it to 0 but we want it to be the DR so I'm gonna set it higher the default is 1 right they all ha currently have a priority number of 1 so I'll set it to 100 okay so that's done right and then I'll do a control C and I'll save my configuration copy run start okay so I just saved my configuration file and then I'm gonna do on R3 I'll type enable conf T interface FA 0 slash 0 and IP OSPF priority and I'll set this one to 50 IP OSPF priority to 50 okay now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down this interface I shut down that interface all right and wait copy run start and oops well I have to do that command in okay there we go Let's copy my configuration and I'm gonna go back into the interface so now I'm ready to start it up again so I shut it down and what I'm gonna do now is see this interface is shut down I'm gonna shut down I'm gonna cheat on these other ones and just use a little tool here to go quicker and shut down all the interfaces right here right or we reload the pro the the process or basically I want to influence the election process is what I want to do so on R1 we'll shut down an interface right and then on R0 we'll shut down an interface right and since this router has a very high interface number so we shut down some interfaces um, and then we can just turn them back on and I'm gonna see if that will work in helping decide who's gonna be the um, the DR so I'll turn on this interface for R0 first and then I'll turn on this interface for R3 second hoping that this guy will be the DR and this one will be the BDR based on the order in which the interfaces are turned on and I'm not sure if that's gonna work I'm just testing it out but we know that a election is forced when interfaces are turned on and off and so that would be one way to do it is to just start the routers in the order that you want to have them start and then see if that works in setting up who's the DR and the BDR we know that the router priority numbers are correct here this router has a router priority number of 100 this one has 50 and so that should help influence it so now do a C here and we'll do a show IP OSPF neighbor and we
we can see that the adjacencies are still happening. And you can see that according to R2, which is this router here, the DR is the router with the priority 100, right? So that worked. And the BDR is the router with the priority number of 50, so that worked. And so we have the correct routers having DR and BDR status on the network. And if we want to see packets being exchanged on the network, we can go into simulation mode and try to do that. So I've edited the filters to show OSPF only, and then I'm going to run the simulation, auto capture play, to see OSPF packets happening on the network here. Okay. And I believe that these packets that we're seeing happening here going across the network are hello packets. Let's take a look here. Um, inbound PDU details. And we'll see what it is. OSPF uh, link state acknowledgement. Okay, so there we have an LSA packet. Let's take a look at another one. And this one is also a link state update. Okay, type 4. Link state um, advertisement. So interesting. I'd like to spend some more time with that. You can see here I saw an outbound PDU detail off of this one right here, outbound, you can see it's an OSPF hello packet that we can take a look at and see the hello interval for OSPF is 10, the dead interval is 40, so all these routers have to have the same hello interval set if they want to communicate successfully, and they also have to have the same dead interval. The hello interval is set to 10, dead interval is set to 40, that's by default, right? And so it's fun to look at these packets and analyze them and, and um, see OSPF kind of happening in real time. The other thing that I would like to see happen in simulation mode, so I've reset the simulation. You set the edit filters to just OSPF, right? And the other thing I'd like to see happen is watching if I take, let's say, R2 right here and then turn off the Ethernet interface on 0, 01. So let's say this LAN goes down. Well, according to OSPF rules, then R2 is going to send link state updates and it's going to send it to the DR, which would go to R0. And then the DR would disseminate those um, link state updates to, um, or link state advertisements, right, to um, R1 and R3. And so I'd like to see that process possibly in action. And what you would do is you just set it up, right, and then hit auto capture play, right, and then turn the, the um, interface off, and you could see it happen live. So I could say, let's say, auto capture play, right, and those are some hello packets going out. And then all of a sudden, I just turn off this interface, right, and now there we should be seeing some packets happening now. Okay, there goes this packet, this blue one here. All right, and the blue one goes here. Notice how there was X's over here, and then this should go to all three. Now let's take a look at that. So that was inbound PDU detail. That should be a, a link state update, and sure enough, it is. Link state update, right? Um, 